We were early adopters of it. I think we were site number 46 in the world. We've had it since 2006, and, and I was immediately attracted to this thing for prostate cancer. It, it, it's an amazing dose delivery tool. My background before this was really prostate brachytherapy, which is another way to really nicely concentrate a high dose in a very restricted area. And early on, I think in about 2004, I played with the CyberKnife planning computer, which you know has evolved six times since then. But even even back in 2004, it was very powerful, and I could immediately see that it could concentrate dose in a very similar manner to brachytherapy, and you know more powerfully than conventional techniques. It's just the power and the precision of it. Again, I, th I think it's, it's a higher order of targeting than we have with some of our other techniques. And it's also very efficient. It's rapid. It knocks out the course of treatment in one week, and that one pretty much appeals to everybody. So. We collaborate with the urologists in a number of ways. Um, we educate them about the precision of the technology and the narrow margins and the reduced collateral damage to normal tissues. Yeah, in some practices, we'll collaborate by having them plant the fiducials, which are the gold markers that guide the treatment. In our own practice, I place those myself, but nationwide, uh, urologists do that. So it is definitely a collaboration. We're treating a pretty broad spectrum. The thing was originally conceived as a narrow margin approach for low risk and intermediate risk disease, but we've now expanded that. We're actually collaborating with UCLA on a high risk protocol that uses slightly bigger margins. And the newest applications, we're also using it as what I call hunt and destroy technology for oligometastases if the thing has escaped the prostate. Some of the newer imaging techniques really allow us to identify metastatic lesions. So that's the next frontier is going after those. So basically stage one to stage four. Most of them are thrilled. Eventually they get to a surgical PSA, so many of them notice and appreciate that. You know, after traditional radiation, the PSA drops, but it doesn't really get to zero. After CyberKnife, it usually does get to zero because it's a very powerful mechanism. So they notice that. Yeah, they have a you know, brief period of side effects, but it's usually pretty light and pretty manageable. A month or two later, they're good. Precise, powerful, efficient. That's